Hey folks, Borders Dude here. Now before I get into the Blackpool haul video, I'm just going to do a bit of housekeeping and show you some of the purchases I made prior to going to Blackpool. First up is Turbo Master Boss. He is complete bar his missiles and the stickers are in quite a lovely condition. Next up it's G2C Spray. Um, he's missing a bit of his chrome there. It's kind of flaked off, but for his age, what do you expect? And I also got a G1 hubcap there. These two, along with my next figure I'm going to show you, um, were part of a My Hermes Nightmare where it took them absolutely ages to find my address, but I finally got the figures in the end. And lastly, pre-Blackpool Hall is um, Transformers Accelerator Windbreaker. Now, I'm so happy to have this guy, even the amount of stress that I got through My Hermes. The seller of this guy was n so helpful. Amazing customer service. We'll be going back to him for other Transformer goods and other stuff as well. And packed brilliantly. This figure is in mint condition. Yeah, he's off the card, but having the card again is a nice slice of nostalgia. Before I get on to the haul that I got at Blackpool, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of where and what Blackpool is. So Blackpool is located in the north of England and it is a seaside town. It has three piers as well as the world famous Pleasure Beach. It's also commonly known as the Las Vegas of Great Britain. And in the summer there's a lot of acts on, um, old comedians um, from the UK. Uh, and during the autumn winter months they have the Illumination Show and um, it's really good, it's a nice place to visit certainly, um, more so in the summer than the winter months, but I certainly do advise you give it a, a go. Um, if you're not from the UK, please do try it, it's a lovely town. But let's get on to the hall, shall we? So Blackpool's also known as a wrestling town, um, where a lot of wrestlers like William Regal came from in the WWE. And I'm collecting WWE Elites in these days, which is the collector's line for the wrestling, uh, from, for the wrestling figures. Uh, so I picked up a couple. I'm going to run down them, then I'm going to go on to the uh, Transformer haul that I got. So this one I've already opened. Uh, this is Kevin Owens, and he comes with the Universal title. And I may start reviewing these soon, but this gives you an idea of just um, what they look like. Next we have the uh, Defining Moments Ultimate Warrior from his ult <laughs> Ultimate Maniacs. Easy for me to say. Um, get up. Absolutely lovely, well detailed. Next up we have the now sadly deceased Jim the Anvil Nightheart with the tag team belt. Um, again, all these figures do have an amazing detail and articulation to them. And lastly, I have the WCW Giant, aka the Big Show, as he's known these days. And as you can see, the box is a bit tatty and bash, but the figure is mint inside and I'm not a mint in box collector, so I'm not fussed. I got this for a steal. Um, at the price because it's very expensive to pick up these days and I got him sealed for £10. And speaking of good deals, I'm going to go on to them next. So while Blackpool has three collectible shops in the same area at the south end um, of the town, they generally don't have many or overpriced Transformers in them, it's just the way it is. And usually I'm just shit out of luck for Transformers. The main town has, you know, like a BM Bargains, um, a Toy Master that just has all the sort of the latest or a wave behind or two figure so never really get anything there unless something recently hit BM for example. Uh, so I, I thought nothing of it. I got my, my wrestlers from the, the collector shop I usually go to. Um, he had some things like Pepsi Convoy that just, yeah, no interest to me. And decided just to go looking in a random charity shop. Didn't find any Transformers but I did find two WCW Galoob wrestlers that are going to be on their way to Dave shot in probably before this video even goes live they'll be on his way to him so no transformers the next day we went past a, just a random junk shop i'm on the way to my collectible shop that I was going to and they had like retro games consoles things like that i thought oh why not i'll have a look in maybe they've got some old games but as soon as i walked in i clocked this red box on the floor and it was bags of g1 transformers and she was wanting 10 pound each now the first bag that I clocked was this bag which contained G1 Rodimus and a G1 Soundwave. Now the, the G1 Soundwave is battered to fuck his fist keeps falling out because it's dead loose and the arm falls off, eject mechanism doesn't work. But he does come with his shoulder cannon and gun, no attachments. Um, Rodimus, no gun, but no, pretty good condition, stickers are okay, it has this, what the hell you call that, tail fin spoiler, whatever it is, and 
yeah, I was, I was quite happy just to pick up the bag for uh, Rodimus alone because I, I didn't know how bad the condition was of this guy, but um, I knew that Rodimus looked absolutely fine and he's pretty much okay. Chrome's, you know, a bit iffy, but hey ho. Um, Can I complain at that? Really, £10 considering Rodimus goes for that on his own normally. And at the bottom of the box there, there's two loose figures. Yeah. Sea Spray, G1, and G1 Beachcomber. And that, you know, paid £10, asked, oh, what do you want for these? She went, oh, just have them for free. I thought, fantastic. And left it at that. Decided later on that, oh, maybe I'd go back and have another look at those other bags of Transformers, see what was in them. And I did. Went back and looked at the bags. There was a very beaten up G1 Galvatron. Uh, a Metroplex, which I already have complete. Um, and an Ultra Magnus G1 as well, already complete. Um, plastic tyre version as well, so um, no need to pick that up. But this other bag had, there's two other bags. There's one that had a G1 Snarl that was missing its foot, Gobot Zemon, and the other bag had Aerobots in it. It had all four Aerobots, so I picked that up. But also in the bag, it had um, Rock Lord, I thought Lord, blah, 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 easy for me to say, the, lock, lock, the Rock Lord's <laughs> uh, leader, voiced by Telly Savalas, who loves you, baby. It had a G1 Twin Twist. And a GoBot, well, he might be a Water Walk, I don't know. There's like about five versions of this mold. Um, one of them's called Water Walk as well. So they were quite nice bonuses. Now, the Aerial Bots are all, now they've had a clean. Um, they were, they're in pretty good nick as well. I mean, look at. That's a raid firefight. No, nope. fucking can't remember the names, but you know, you know who they are. So they're pretty good. Nick, they're upside work. And again, the other two there work fine. Now there was no silver bolt, but it had all the accessories for Superion, uh, bar the fists. So all I need to do is get a uh, silver bolt and two fists, and I've got a Superion, which is perfect. Now the other thing. I did have, we had Twin Twist Weapon inside it, and to my surprise when I was there, not only did it have some other random weapons, but also had Rodimus Prime's gun, and Soundwave's gun attachment. Now, oh, it did have, where is he? Here he is. Uh, a broken sinner. Sinner's Twin or something like that, uh, but the fact that all that G1 stuff cost me £20. Now that's, these days that's unheard of, and it's all in really good nick, um, particularly stuff I picked up anyway, the other stuff maybe not so much, but that's picked up all in really good condition. Yeah, Soundwave's fucked, let's be honest, but a G1 Rodimus, he's missing the sidebars for his, the shields for his battle station, but I've got his gun, the gun's so expensive to pick up. Um, twin twist, you can get 10 a penny. But Aerobots are all mint, almost all the attachments to them to make Superion. Could have been that, you know, Silver Bolt was in one of those bags, but I couldn't see him, but 20 pound, I, I can't fault that. Something I'd never thought I'd see in Blackpool. So impressed, so happy to have all this, and I can't wait to get a silver bolt now to complete that G1 combiner. Well, folks, that was my haul video from Blackpool and prior. Um, thank you again very much to my new subscribers. I'm almost at that 200 mark. Please, please, please recommend me. Word of mouth helps my channel grow and all that jazz. Um, I hope you enjoyed my channel. Any suggestions, please do leave them in the comments section below. And until next time, as always, be excellent to each other.